A climate of fear, feeling bullied and being ignored. Some of the experiences which have been revealed in a report into whistleblowing in the NHS in England. The man leading the review, Sir Robert Francis, said a change of culture within the health service was necessary to protect staff who raise concerns about poor patient care. NHS Foundation Trusts say Britain has the safest health service in the world. Our health correspondent Adam Brimelow reports. Sir Robert Francis has already led two independent inquiries into the scandal at Mid Staffordshire between 2005 and 2009, where hundreds of patients suffered from appalling care. One of the main concerns he identified was the treatment of whistleblowers, including Helene Donnelly, a nurse who encountered bullying and intimidation after reporting problems. She now has a new role, encouraging colleagues to speak up, which Sir Robert wants to see adopted across the NHS. The role of guardian is central to Sir Robert's recommendations. The idea is they'll intervene early to prevent damaging disputes, in particular supporting junior staff in raising concerns and ensuring managers act to protect patients. The inquiry has heard directly from more than 600 people who spoke of their experiences and about 19,000 answered an online survey. Sir Robert says the response shows the commitment of NHS staff to do the right thing for patients. In some cases, uh, people have raised concerns, quite genuine concerns, uh, and been faced with bullying. Worse, some have lost their jobs, some have lost their health. I, I, I had the sad business of talking to one, at least one person who nearly killed themselves as a result of their perception of their treatment. Uh, and this just can't be tolerated, frankly. Campaigners say strong measures to support and protect whistleblowers are long overdue. We're now aware that this is a widespread problem and that people are suffering hugely and it's a massive injustice. And so the good thing is that now it's beginning to be recognised and Sir Robert Francis you know, has heard what we've said and he is, you know, he is acknowledging that what's happened is unacceptable. Always feel listened to. The government's response to his report was swift. The message must go out today that we are calling time on bullying, intimidation and victimisation, which has no place in our NHS. Yeah. Sir Robert says in the last couple of years, since the public inquiry into Mid Staffordshire, the NHS has made progress in improving accountability. But he acknowledges changing the culture so everyone can feel safe, raising concerns, won't be easy. Adam Brimelow, BBC News. Our health editor, Hugh Pym, is here with me now. We've heard this before. Will this make a difference to whistleblowers now? Well, Simon, that is a very important question because it's nearly two years to the week since Sir Robert came out with his recommendations after the Mid-Staffordshire scandal. And there's been a drive for transparency since then, many changes. And yet still in this report, he is saying there is a serious problem in the NHS. Yes, some progress has been made, but as we heard, their staff are still considering it too unsafe to speak out and patient safety is still very much at risk. So the question is, why is there still that culture? And he does say it is primarily a cultural thing, but he does make some key recommendations, one of which is that at each hospital there should be a guardian, so-called, who whistleblowers can go to in confidence. Now, the only problem there is that the guardian is appointed by the hospital and has to be paid for by the hospital, so it's not quite clear how that's going to work out. He also wants a national guardian to, if you like, review the work of local attempts at hospital level to help uh, whistleblowers. So the Secretary of State, Jeremy Hunt, has accepted the findings of the report. He says there can be legislation on the statute book by the election. That's quite a big pledge to, if you like, deal with the issues of discrimination against whistleblowers when they're dealing with their employment uh, situation. Labour's view is that also to welcome it, but they've questioned why it doesn't go into the issue of whistleblowing in social care homes. That is not dealt with, they say. They also say under this government, Sir Robert exposes the fact that bullying cases have gone up. So this government has some responsibility to take for that. Thank you, thank you very much, Hugh Pim.